Hi guys, this is slide 5 in our Industrial Revolution unit, and a very short slide here. This won't take but a few minutes here, because um, really it's only one topic. We finished our last slide talking about Andrew Carnegie. Um, now, Carnegie has a, a very specific way of making money. Uh, it's another business tactic here called vertical integration. Right? Vertical integration. Uh, and again... This is practiced by Andrew Carnegie in his steel industry, Carnegie Steel. Right? Now, the way this works is, in vertical integration, you own part of each step in a process. I'll say that a couple of times here because you got to understand this. I want you to write it down. Vertical integration. Okay? You own part of each step in a process. You own part of each step in a process. So, for instance, since Carnegie does this, we'll use steel. Okay. Um, what's the raw material needed to make steel? Iron. So, Carnegie goes out and he buys himself some iron mining companies. Right? Now, he already owns the steel mills. That's where he makes his money, right? But he goes out and he buys himself some iron mining companies companies. Then, what do you burn to get the fire hot enough? Coal. So Carnegie goes out and he buys himself some coal mining companies. And then he uses the iron and the coal to make steel. Once his steel is built, he has to get it to his customers. So he goes out and he buys himself some railroad companies. And then when he becomes real successful, he starts selling his steel in Europe and overseas. So he buys himself some shipping companies. Now, that means that every step along the way, okay, who is Carnegie paying? Who is he buying these things from? He's paying himself. He's buying them from himself. Now, is this legal? Yes, it's perfectly legal. Because does he own all of the iron mining companies in the country? No. He own, does he own all of the coal mining companies, all the railroads or shipping companies? No. He buys just enough to service his steel mills. So if you want to use, you know, if you've got a company and you, you want to use a railroad, you don't have to use Carnegie's. Will he sell you a space on his railroad? Sure he will. But there are other options. This is not a monopoly. This is perfectly legal, right? and it's how he becomes the richest guy in the country at the time, because right? every step along the way, he's paying money back to himself. It's a brilliant, brilliant way to run a business. Now, what do you have to have in order to do this? You got to have the money to begin with. Right? you got to have the money to buy the iron companies and the coal companies and the railroad companies and the shipping companies. And Carnegie does. This just helps him make even more money. Right? So vertical, going up. Part of each step in a process. And in this instance, the process is making steel.